All right, we're going for it. And we're going with some regen mushrooms, thanks to... We got a new shield, we got some regen name? mushrooms. There you go! <laughs> There you go! <laughs> ah. Oh. Thought I was supposed to have health regen. Already, already wore off. Whoa! Yeah, it's pretty quick. Well, there goes that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, never mind that. Look how much you got him down, though. Just... Yeah, that's cool. I just gotta keep that up. But seriously, like, I thought that health regen would last for... No. This it's one of those things, long. I legit actually don't know if I've ever used those. Because it's one of those things, like, you get that in games sometimes, where it's like, this is such a rare item, and I don't want to use it, because I might need it at some point. And, and then you end up not reusing it, it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's not really going to serve a purpose, because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I did that with, um... I think it was, like, stat boosts in Tales of Symphonia or something. It was, like, one of those things, like, you get things like, oh, improve your stat point by one or something. Permanently, yeah. And it was one of those things I saved almost all of them because I didn't know, like, what would be the optimal ones to give to who. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I don't want to give speed to the slow guy. That would just be pointless. I want to give speed to the fast person so they're even faster. And then I never ended up using any of them. Yeah. Well, like, in Fallout, I would do that because you would get books that increase different stats. Yeah. But the first time playing through and not knowing anything about it, and you get like three quarters of the way through the game, and you get this perk that like doubles the effectiveness of everything. <laughs> but the stuff you've already read, you can't reread because you know once you read a magazine, you throw it away. Because that makes sense. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. That's um. You died. <laughs> yep. Fast, Lee. I like how they just like sort of nonchalantly walk away. Yeah, he'll he'll be back. <laughs> he did. He really did. Is there a different ring that would help here? No. Poise is probably going to be your best run. Like, <laughs> yeah, Calamity Ring. That would help. <laughs> like, I don't really think anything would help all that much. If Havels gave you fast rolling, it might, but I don't think it will. I'm almost positive it won't. Yeah. But almost. Because what's a fourth of 131? Oh, man. Let me get my... Uh, well, a fourth of 120. It'd be like 30. Yeah, wow. Well, or right well, around 30. Well, I could always not worry about it. Just. But the thing is, I don't really know how much that's going to matter because I think you're blocking more than you're dodging. Yeah. So it's probably better just to keep the boys on. Like, there might be a couple rings, like, you go, oh, find? No, be we're more not helpful, doing that. But we're already here. Well, and it's one of those things, like, they'd be more helpful, but I don't know how much they'd actually improve your chances. Mm. It's kind of like the thing where, yeah, you could go spend 30 minutes finding a ring. That might give you, like, a 1 in 100 chance that it'll save you or something. Because, like, there's a couple rings that will increase elemental resistance, But if you want, you could always try beefy mode. Like go havel it? Yeah. If you just want to finish it. Like, get some stamina... Like, <laughs> get some stamina grass. Uh, Put on Havel's armor. Dual hand your sword and just go to town. Because this boss actually doesn't do a whole lot of uh, stability damage to you. Mm -hmm. So if you have high poise, he won't actually stagger you. And you can actually just sit there and take all of his attacks to the face, and you can still attack through them and heal through them and everything like that. That's one of the reasons this guy isn't really considered to be, like, the top tier difficulty, is that he has a really easily exploitable strategy to beat him like that. Mm -hmm. Which considered a little cheap by some people. It's like, if you want to give Gwyn a real fight, he can be a challenge. But there are ways to not give him that. 
And even if you are pairing two, I would still say you got to do your journey to the center of the rocks. Yeah. Ah, too late, Mike. Yeah, you're doing a little too late. Well. There you go. Take that, old man. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> See, the thing is, also, I think what was doing me there is, um, do you have, like, just a split second after you parry to hit him? Because the thing well, is, yeah. I was like, I hit parry because I thought I timed it right, and I initially hit attack right after that. Well, but then I no, realized I didn't parry back, successfully. It's very noticeable if you parry. Yeah, so, so I, should, like hold, I should hold off on hitting right bumper until I know for sure I actually parried him. Yeah. So I was kind of doing, like, a bum because you know how it's like... Yeah, you don't need to hit him immediately. Immediately, like he he he'll do like a little like he'll kind of like slump and do a little stun animation, and it's like maybe half a second long, but it's more than enough to hit him during it. Okay. 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 It would be kind of cool. What? If like you fought all the NPCs you killed here, <laughs> as undead. Pull the sorrow mm -hmm. from MGS three. You monster. And I guess, wouldn't it really, because that's one of the things pe people will do before they do, is they go, th before they finish the game, I mean, is they'll go through and kill all of the fire keepers to get all the fire keeper souls and supercharge their Estus. So it's like plus five or six. Well, does that carry over too? Yeah, country? that carries over. What the? We see what he did? <laughs> it's like... This game doesn't do well with like curved terrain. I guess not. I'm ready, I'm ready, ready, ready to kill Gwent. <laughs> really. Like, he's not as intimidating as the other bosses were. Yeah. But the fact that I've died so much, I mean, obviously, yeah. I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I'll be interested to see again, because I haven't edited everything yet at this point. So we'll be interested to see what kills you the most in this game. Yeah. Do you have any predictions? Myself. <laughs> My pride. <laughs> I've, I've had a few slips and falls. My though. overconfidence. No, I don't really know what it'd be in. Ah. Oh. There you go. And I would say, watch his arms, not his sword. Okay. I don't know if you're doing that, but... See, it sucks because like once he gets your health yeah. out of it, it's like he knows yeah. you're about to die, so he just doesn't hold just, back. Yeah. 